telling you how to post things in Avid Media Composer to YouTube in HD. That's right, in high definition. You'll notice uh, I've actually uploaded this a long time ago. Uh, if you're curious uh, about a very interesting page, you can check out Nickel Block's channel. And this one's posted with up to 480p. You'll notice that that's not technically HD, but there is, in fact, a way to get this guy to post in HD. So, uh, what you're going to do is come down here, open up Avid Media Composer, and it'll give you a minimum screen height requirement of blah, blah, blah. It's only telling me this because I'm also putting it onto uh, my TV here. It's just complaining and saying, hey, you can't do that. But don't worry. Who knew? Alright. So, uh, you're in here, you've opened this guy up. We're going to open up a tutorial here, just for kicks. And you'll notice that that media is offline because I've saved it to da -da -da -da, my camera that I'm using currently to make this video. So, if you want something to export in HD, what you've got is, you know, you've got your timeline and everything down here. You go down to settings. And you're going to make sure that, you know, you got all your settings down here. You've got your user profile all set up. Everything's set up the way you want it. I just make sure every single time that that is there. So, what you're going to want to do is go to File, go to Export. And it's going to pop up this screen here. Now, oh, come on. There we go, it's going to pop up this screen here. This is what we're looking for. Now you want to export it as an MOV, and we're going to call it, eh, just test, just for fun. You're going to come down here to Options, and that's going to pop up this screen here. Now, the way I've got this set up currently is, there we go. let's see if I can't zoom in. Seven twenty by four o five. Now, if you want this to be in HD, in true HD, uh, it can't be seven twenty by four o five because seven twenty by four o five is just going to give you four eighty p, if I remember right, or at least somewhere close to that. So, come up to format options. You want to make sure that your settings are at compression type H two six four. You want frame rate current, you want that to be done automatically, this to be done automatically. I like to do faster encode, it just makes a single pass, uh, leave your compression quality in between high and best. Now, if you want better quality, you can always do encoding best quality, just know that that's going to take a little bit longer to export, so uh, it's faster quality, whatever. Uh, leave your sound the way it is and prepare for internet streaming, I mean, I like to do a fast fast start, that's fine. You can compress the header if you choose. Uh, that'll kick it up a little bit faster, but I've never found there to be much of a difference between the two. Um, I've actually never tried hinted streaming. I'm not quite sure what that does. All right. <clears throat> so, for the dimensions, uh, say you imported something with that was uh, 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080, you can come down here and you can say native dimensions and then it'll have it here the same dimensions that are up here so just make sure up here you put in you know uh... 1920 by 1080 and that gives you native dimensions in 1920 to 1080 there you're now exporting at 1080p as long as what you input in here, you ingest it with 1080p, you want to do video and audio custom. If you really, 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 if you imported as HD and you wanted to export as HD, no compression, no change whatsoever, you could try here, just the same as the source, and it should export the same as the source. So whatever you stuck it in as, it'll stick it back out as. So uh, just know that. So there you go, and then you click save. And uh, that'll save that, those options. Of course, now I need to come back in here and change these back to my flip cam settings because that's how I get these guys on YouTube. Uh, like that. 
and then you save as whatever you want to save it as, and then you save, and it takes however the heck long it takes to export. So there's the quick tutorial on how to export things in HD. Now, uh, when you want to upload them to your YouTube channel, you just click upload, you upload a video just like normal, and it should upload in high definition. Now, if for some reason it doesn't, yell at me and tell me, hey Nick, that didn't work, and uh, I'll figure out why the heck it didn't work.